Good evening to all my brothers and sisters that has taken the time at the close of another day to come together with me at Reflections at Bedtime to praise, honor, and glorify the name of the Lord. So welcome, one welcome all watching or fellowshipping with me around the world doesn't matter where you are the presence of the lord is with us all because the god we serve is an omnipresent god he's here he's there and he is everywhere you will never be alone because god is our shield our buckler our protector provider sustainer or king of kings lord of lords He's a friend that stick it closer than a brother. I am grateful to God for life, for health, and for strength today. And I can go on and on because God has been so good, beyond good. He has been great. It is his nature to be good to us. And he has been just that to me. I have been traveling up and down seas, uh, dry land, in the air, and God has been my protector her my protection and I am so grateful for his loving kindness and his tender mercies towards me this evening at the close of another day so I thank you brothers and sisters for joining with me at reflections at bedtime take your Bibles and let's give God some praise I hope that you have when you woke up this morning have written down your praise report and the promises of God to take you through this day and here we are reflecting on the greatness, the marvelous, wonderful goodness of our God. Our praise today is coming from Psalm 63. And I find delight in reading the Psalms because they uplift my spirits and give me hope and strength to go on. Because I see people, flesh and bl blood like myself, who has gone through rough times. Who have been in the valleys and on the mountaintop and had a praising on their lips and that's why I am joining with the Psalms and praising God at the close of this day because when I reflect on my day it is only through the goodness the grace and the mercies of God that I have made it through and I hope that this is your prayer and desire and your praise too so join with me Psalm 63 we're going to read for our praise verses 7 and 8 it says because you have been my help therefore in the shadows of your wings I will rejoice my soul follows close behind you your right hand upholds me God never ceases to uphold his children with his righteous right hand and so Psalm 63 7 and 8 gives us a praise today that because God has been our help he is our present help in time of trouble we will stay under the shadows of his almighty wings just like just like a mother hen will cover her chicks and protect them Jesus' arms are outstretched. And I think that's the symbol of the cross. His arms are outstretched. Look at the cross as reflection uh, symbol up there. That he can enclose and enfold the entire universe with his outstretched arms. So just like a mother hen will cover her chicks and protect them from harms, therefore in the shadows of your wings I will rejoice because you have protected me my soul follows close behind you your right hand will uphold me to God be the glory for his blessings and protection and watch care over us throughout this day that we can assemble and give him glory honor and praise him at the close of this day my God is great 
the God I serve is gracious and merciful, just and kind towards me. I know he is the same towards you. If you know the God that I'm talking about, lift your hands in praise and adoration to his name. But if you don't know him, try him today. He's the God of salvation. He's the God of love. He's the God of protection. He's the God not made out of wood and stones, but he's the God who loves us and died for us that we can have life and have it more abundantly. So I introduce to you, if you have never met this God that I'm talking about, that buoys up my soul, that gives me a, a spring in my steps every day that I wake up, a God that protects me from harms and danger, a God that gives me food on my table, a God that protects my children, my grandchildren, a God that is worthy to be praised. I introduce to you to him to you that God today if you have not met him before right now he's a God that hears and answers prayers and we're going to talk to him just like you would talk to me or I would talk to you have that confidence have that hope that faith that courage that when you talk to God he will hear and answer you according to his will for your life let's talk to him let's go to him right now in prayer and worship him as we pray loving gracious father in heaven how great thou art great is your faithfulness O God my father every morning you wake me up with life with health with strength with vigor with wisdom with understanding with eyes to see ears to hear mouths to speak your praise and at the close of the day you remind me of your goodness as I turn the pages of your word that was a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path today that protected me from harms and danger and see that I could see and I cannot see that placed food on my table that gave me shelter God you are that God a wonderful wonderful Savior is Jesus my Lord a wonderful Savior to me he hideth my soul in the depths of his love. What a great and marvelous God we serve. Thank you for the blessings of this day. We have a testimony to give you today because you are so good. You are beyond good. You are such a great God to us. You look beyond our faults. You see our needs and you supply them. You grant us favor we do not even deserve. You touched and heal us. And deliver us from harms when the enemy came in like a flood you were our protector and we thank you we bless your name we glorify you God we give you all the glory and the honor and the praise because you are worthy to be praised I pray this prayer today with Thanksgiving as my brothers and sisters worship with me at the close of this day and we reflect on your goodness towards us we have nothing else but to say God you are great and greatly to be praised we worship you come now and worship with us as we praise you and honor you and bless your holy name in Jesus name we pray with Thanksgiving amen and amen again friends listen to this song be blessed and I will come back with our promise for the day and the devotional reflection thought.
Today we're going to talk about the praises of God. Actually, we're going to um, see what His promise is for us today. And His promise is taken from Isaiah, let's see, in my notes here, I'm sorry, Romans 4, 7, and 8. Acts, Romans, let's go right there, Romans, Acts, Romans chapter 4, and verses... 7 and 8. Romans 4 verses 7 and 8. Romans 4, 7 and 8 says, Blessed are those who lawless deeds are forgiven. God has blessed us even though, blessed, another word for that is happy, are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Our sins can only be covered with the blood of Jesus. And happy is he, blessed is he whose sins are covered with the blood of Jesus. Blessed is the man whom the Lord shall not impute sin. He shall put away our sins. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will forgive our sins. Happy is he whose deeds are forgiven. And whose sins are covered. For the Lord will cover our sins. Let's go right into our devotional thought. And today we're talking about the protection of God. He will never leave us alone. The protection of God. There are several verses in the Bible that gives us the assurance of God's protection. Both in the Old and the New Testament. A story of to is told of two men who were kidnapped and trapped in the trunk of a car. And one of them was freaking out because he was claustrophobic, could not be in small spaces. And he was screaming and carrying on. And then all of a sudden, one of them, the other one was very silent. And all of a sudden, the one that was making noise and screaming and carrying on, and they were in the middle of nowhere in the back of a trunk. They could not get out. And fear took over their hearts. But the one that was making all this noise, he suddenly stopped. And then he said, I think I'm looking at this in the wrong way. I think the trunk that we're locked in is not, we shouldn't be fearful of it. I think it is a protection because if we were thrown out someplace in the dark and dismal wherever we could have been bit by spiders or snake or 
a lot of harms could have come by us. But we're locked in this trunk. It's actually a protection for us. And then the other one who wasn't saying anything, he said, you know what? I think you're right. I think that you're right. I think that this trunk is our friend. <laughs> and so what a thing. When you are stuck in a trunk and you're in darkness, you don't know where you are, but yet you can think positively. Take away the negative things. Think positively. You know what? This trunk is our friend. Psalm 63, where we read our praise report from, is a promise and a praise report from David the psalmist. You see, David was going through a time in his life. It was a dry and a parched land figuratively for him. Things were not going well for him. And then he remembered God's power. He remembered that instead of me murmuring and complaining, I need to give God glory. In verse 1 and 3, 1, 2, and 3 actually, let's go back to our praise report in Psalm 63. Turn your Bibles with me. We're going to go back to our praise report and ponder a little bit as we talk about the protection of God. That he will never leave us alone. Psalm 63 says, verse 1, O God, you are my God. Early I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Verse 3 tells us, Because your loving kindness is better than life. Powerful statement. Your loving kindness is better than life. Isn't that something? My lips shall praise you. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I have life. I will lift up my hands in your name your soul shall be satisfied my soul shall be satisfied as the marrow of fatness and my mouth shall praise you for with joyful lips psalm 63 david is giving god praise it uh, it, it is as if he was um in a place where he sees God's care and his protection. Like a baby, a baby bird hidden in the shelter of, of her mother's wings, David finds that when he clings to God, even in a barren place, he can feast as the richest man that has food, finding nourishment and strength in the love that is better than life. Psalm 63 is a great psalm to give God praise. When you feel you need the protection of God, find that psalm. Here's another one. Psalm 60, Psalm 46, sorry. Psalm 46 is a well-known psalm. It's one of the psalms that I love. I, re, I, re, I, re, I recite it when I feel I need to remind myself of God's protection and his ever-present, his ever-present, confident presence with me. It says God is my refuge. Let's personalize it. Let's make it a personal, intimate thing. God of heaven and earth, the universe is his own, but yet he is my refuge and my strength. He is a very present help in time of trouble. Therefore, I will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, when the earth is shaking, means when you're, when you're going through, God is ever present with you. Though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river though, whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. 
she shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord who has made desolation in the earth. He makes wars to cease. To the end of the earth he breaks the bows and cut the spear in two he burns the chariot with fire be still for senses and know that i am god i will be exalted among the nations i will be exalted in the earth the lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is our refuge this is a psalm that i remind myself of any time i feel that I am stressed to the max anytime I feel like I'm alone I call upon God I turn the open the Bible and I turn to Psalm 46 because God is my refuge and he's a very present help and now help a present help in time of trouble I just received a text message from one of my children I told you before I have many children and she said to me, Mama, I had no gas in my car. And this is her testimony. I wish she had recorded it where she can tell it herself, but she texted it to me and I'm going to share it with the world right now. She said, Mama, I had no gas. I had someplace important to go and all I had was my tide. But she said, I didn't want to take my tide. Obviously, when you set aside your tide, you should never. That is God's money. To return to him he has given you you should give back to him and you will see the promise in malachi chapter 10 verse uh chapter 10 of malachi it says that god will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing the windows of heaven are many we cannot count and god said that when you give to him when you return to him not really give because he gives you all is his you return to him a faithful tide he will open up the windows of heaven and so she said I had my tide and I did not want to to spend it she said I was on E I was empty but I had someplace important to go she said mama I said you know what I'm gonna go anyways and she pulled up at the gas station and she got in the line and a woman walked up to her and she said excuse me I will give you money for gas can you just take me to my car and sh this lady begins to relay a story to her she says I have an automatic start car and I was driving and when I got to my destination I turned the car off and now I can't find my keys so the car cannot start without me having the keys present to push the ignition so I had one of those cars and if you're within the vicinity of the key the car will start but once you mash the brake and you're closed off if you don't have the keys with you the car will not start and so that was the dilemma that this lady was going through and the faithfulness of my child that walked into that gas station with no money to put gas in someone in the line said to her I will give you money for gas if you just take me to this location and she gave her a twenty dollars bill now twenty dollars can fill full up her tank so she put that gas in and then she proceeded to take the lady to the destination which wasn't far according to what she said and the lady began to thank her so much and she turned around and she started thanking the lady and gave her her testimony that she came to this gas station with no money but she knew that God would have showed up and show out. That's the God we serve. And as she told this lady her story, the lady was so grateful. She said, I could have called AAA, but they take a long time and I have to get to my car and whatever not. I don't know, you know, whatever that story the lady had. But the fact is, when the story, when the, the, she started to tell her that I came here with no, she even gave her another $20. So she received $40 more than what she even asked for to put gas in her car the God we serve is a great God 
He never fails. He's our provider and our protector. He will never leave us alone. All we have to do is be faithful. My friends, be faithful and God will protect you. He promised never to leave us, never to leave us alone. That's the God we serve. And today I pray that the testimony of this child shall lift your spirits and encourage you to trust God in spite of what your situation is. If you trust him, he will show up right on time. He's an on-time God. He's our protector, just like a mother hen just like a parent just like anyone who will shield and protect mothers protect their children even animals when you mess with the baby the mother comes after you the father comes after you that's the protection that our heavenly father has over his children day in and day out once we surrender our all to god another psalm that i love and that i read very often for protection is Psalm 91. The word of God is so sweet. It's like honey to our mouth. When you taste a real pure honey, that taste takes a long time before it even goes away. That sweetness stays in your tongue, on your mouth. That's how the word of God is. Once we feast on the word of God, we will have water in our lives. Food. The manner that comes from above the bread of God is his word. Psalm 91 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Verse 3 of 91, Sam said, Surely he will deliver you from the smears of the fowler, from the pestilence, from the, per from the perilous pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers. Under his wings he you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid. For the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Nor the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the destructions that, uh, that lay waste at noon, noon day. Verse 7 says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come near you. Verse 8 says, Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked god will take care of the wicked for you when the enemy comes in like a flood he says that he will be our protector he will be that boat that will have an anchor in the time of the storms in your life for god is our protection our protector and our provider our sustainer our friend our deliverer our healer god is god all by himself and I praise him, I honor him, I glorify him because great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. Continue to read Psalm 91. Read it every evening before you go to sleep. And you will have that confidence in God, knowing that he is your protector. He promised never to leave us, never to leave us alone. And I believe in that promise. Continue to read Psalm 91. The verses in the Bible as we read about god protection it gives us strength it tells us uh psalm 46 tells us that god is our refuge and strength and he is ever present in time of trouble god is protect is our protection why because he is our father and he is our protector from harms and danger from emotional turmoil from physical pain god is our protection so we can deal with the ups and downs that come in our lives because God gives us comfort in knowing that he is our shield, our buckler, our protector. These Bible verses about the protection of God shows us in many ways that God cares for his children. 
again just like a mother will shelter her birds or her baby birds under her wings so God's watchful eye is over us he will shelter us in the time of storm God is our is serving over us all and he will guide us through everything in our lives so let us not have fear let us not have anxiety for God will defeat the fears of in our lives and he will cover us from all harms he provides safety and protection over our emotional and physical troubles having God's protection it doesn't mean we wouldn't go through struggles or we wouldn't have distress that they wouldn't occur in our lives but he promised to be with us every day all day wherever we go so the scripture shows us that Jesus allows his disciples to experience fear and tribulation remember the story when John when when the disciples were in the storm and Jesus was resting and the storm keep battering the boat and they said father master do you not fear do you not care that we perish and what he said to them after he rebuked the wind and said peace be still what did he say where is your faith O ye of little faith trust God today my friends believe in God he is our protector he will never leave us alone never never leave us alone God is able to protect us, to, to, to keep us from harms. He provides our every need and he will never, never see us go in want. He will always be with us. Just like my daughter who had the testimony to share today that she trusted God and that he showed up right on time through a stranger through someone who just wanted a lift to go get their keys to to go get to their car who was in a distressful situation and god provided he is our protector if we just trust him every day read psalm 32 7 read deuteronomy 31 6 read isaiah 54 17 and you will be comforted and blessed and reassured that God is our protection and that he will never leave us never never leave us he promised always to protect us and that is what he will do let's go to God in prayer right now and I will come back with our health tip let's talk to God write your prayer request down write your praise report write your testimonies down put a star next to your uh prayer request when god came through for you and video yourself and send in your pray your, your praise report and your testimony so i can share it with the world you can also text it to me and i will verbalize it but it's better when the others around the world they're encouraged by your testimony because god sometimes places us in testing situations to test our faith to see how much faith we have in him and then he shows up the right time at the right place God is our protector he will never leave us alone let's go to him in prayer right now eternal God and loving father hallowed be your most precious and wonderful name father we praise you we glorify you we honor your name because great are you Lord and worthy of praise there is so many um texts in the bible that we can find strength and confidence and hope and faith in you because you're the word you are bread to our hungry souls you are water to our thirsty souls you are a healer the same God that healed the leper, that caused the blind to see, the deaf to hear, the mute, the dumb to speak. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. The healer. My mom was in the hospital last week, and God touched and healed her. He answered the prayers of those who fervently prayed for her. He was her protector. When she felt she was in a dark place in her life, he showed up, and he caused light to come to a her dark soul thank you God for healing I'm praying for sister Nancy in the name of Jesus God cover her protect her bless her give her strength as she recovers I'm praying for my sister-in-law that you have given her clear sight she can see 
after having double cataract operations. God, you are the same marvelous healing, promise-keeping God. We praise your name. I'm praying for those who are in Guyana that are sick. My girlfriend who's in the hospital, Lord, show up and deliver her in the name of Jesus. Keep her calm and let her have the confidence to know that you are very present help in time of trouble. I'm praying for the protection over my grandson, over my children, over my in-laws, over my brothers and sisters, my friends and families and loved ones near and far for traveling mercies. We're thanking you. Oh God, you are a wonderful God. I pray for protection for my spouse and his workers that as they travel on the highways and byways that you would protect them god i'm praying for healing and deliverance and food that you would provide for those that are hungry that you would continue to be our god our savior from sin our redeemer sustainer i'm thanking you for being that god you see and know the prayer requests that are written down you see and know the hearts of those that are listening that are praying right now please deliver hear and answer according to your will for our lives but most of all oh god when this time on earth is over may we be faithful that we can go home into eternity with you we praise you we thank you we bless you in the name of jesus amen and amen again friends for our health tip this afternoon uh, this evening, I want to touch a little bit on on um, probiotics. Probiotics are very important for the health of our gut. We have bacteria, natural bacteria in there, and sometimes um, it'll act up when we get in contact with other um, food that we have ingested that may have caused um, problems infections in our gut but probiotics can help us I used to use acidophilus which I get from the health store which has um, bacteria that we put in that can fight against the uh, foreign agents that can cause infection in our gut so research probiotics and go to the health store you will get plant-based natural probiotics and when you drink it or take it it will help with the infection in your gut it is so vital that we protect our intestines that we pro protect our gut from bacteria that can cause us harm it will affect every other organ in our bodies if we don't protect our gut and probiotics is one thing that can protect us and help us if we use it to protect our gut i pray that you would research it and i pray that you will find it very useful and that god will bless you as you continue to worship him and praise him and remember that he is our protector and he will never leave us alone i'm grateful for the promises of god i'm grateful for the opportunity to praise his name every day and i pray that you would do the same Friends, remember that God's love is unconditional. And in spite of what we do, his nature is to love us. Let's practice that love on earth, one towards another. And we will make this world a better place. God loves you and so do I. Until we meet again at Reflections at Bedtime, same place, same time. God loves you and have restful sleep tonight. <laughs>